everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with uh, one of my lovely co-hosts on this, uh, my good old friend Kenzie. Hello! I am so happy to be back again. It's been a while since the last one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the wheel has uh, spoken, and uh, it shows that it was uh, Kenzie's choice this time. Mm -hmm. So what do you have in store for us today? So, I picked out this book called Kings and Queens, and apparently, I believe it's a medieval theme of, like, total drama. Something about, like, the characters, like, taking place in, like, the medieval times or something. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I read. Because okay. I read it a little bit before. I'm not gonna lie. It's interesting. Gotcha. It's kind of different, but I think, I think you'll like it. Okay. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Kings and Queens, Total Drama. Uh, this has. Oh, it's complete, which is nice to see. Yes. <laughs> Some of Total Drama crew come together to fight for glory, but instead of competing against each other for a cool million, they're battling for something even better global domination. Kings and Queens style. No hosts, no cameras. Nothing but pain, suffering, drama, and crowns. Several, several ships implied a few more than others. Okay. This has yeah. this finished back in 2017. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's like seven years ago now, <laughs> so hopefully the writing's good. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, good thing I don't have to replace anything in here, like POVs or anything, so. Yeah. Alrighty. Let me see. I do have a penny. All right. Do you want to be heads or tails? Um, I'll be tails. I okay. like tails. All righty. Oh, oh god damn it! it fell off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Let me see. All right, I get to read. All right. Okay. Alright. This Stack Distress, Chapter 1. Okay. Synopsis. Queen Jo receives news of her servant Cameron about her army's incompetence and takes the news poorly. Alright. Your Highness, I have... I am afraid I have some bad news. The scrawny servant rushed into the main hall and towards the throne, where the queen sat up upon the gilded chair. Her golden crown lay crooked on her head, shoving her dirty blonde hair into different directions all at once. She, however, was unfazed at this. Half-hearted glanced up from her sketchbook. The boy kneeled down, bowing his head until she lazily motioned for him to stand. What is it now, string bean? She snarled, gaining the intimidating sigh from the messenger. We just received the, the results of the latest military report. The, queen's, the queen cocked an eyebrow at him, swinging her legs to the front of the throne and straightening up. Is that so? How is that bad news? Give me the papers. The boy fearfully stretched his arm out, and she snatched the paper out of his hand. Her eyes skimmed the pages intently, only for her face to scrunch up in displeasure. Her grip on the paper tightened, crinkling the sheets and tearing the edges as she roared, Are you kidding me? She launched the sack across the room, separating sheets, separate sheets flying in different directions as the messenger scrambled to collect them. She clenched, you know, she clenched her hands, screeched in fury. How is this even possible? Our shoulders are the best in the country. How could they become... Become so incompetent. The queen pulled her leg up and kicked the throne, hopping on her foot in enraged and painful state. She stood herself tall, breathing heavily and shaking from head to toe, so she could. So she sat herself down. The servant ha hastily organized the pages back in the pile and approached her. I believe I know why the results are subpar at best. Gaining her attention, she eyed him, urging him to keep talking. Well, looks brainy, brainiac. Adjusting his glasses. Well, according to some other re other reports, my best guess would be that, well, due to intervention of Lord Lightning, 
the the soldiers are somehow been influenced to slack off and act as if they were the Lord. By that, I mean brain dead. The queen growled angrily. For crying out loud, that muscle, muscle for brain bastard is so going down. She began to storm off, but not before her servant stopped her. Lady Jocelyn, don't you think that your quarrel with him might be the real cause of this mess? She stared at the dork, dorky boy and shook her head. Well, he's one. He's the one that started this whole mess and refused to lose to someone like him. He sh shoved the boy aside, yelling at her. And how many times do I have to say, it's Joe, not Josephine. Get it right, bubble boy. She bursted from the main hall, roaming the castle in the blind fury before trailing towards the far backs. Cameron chased after her, attempting time and time again to calm her down to no avail. Joe, seriously, we need to rethink this. What if this is what he wanted? Queen Joe immediately dismissed this notion. There is no way he managed to pull that off. He barely is able to write his own aim, let alone create an actual strategy. That's why I always win. She slammed the, the giant dorm hallway, hall door open, making it swing off of its hedges. Attention, she called, only to be greeted by a complete silence. Where the hell are they? She turned to Cameron and he shrugged. They then scoured the area for the missing soldiers, eventually searching the entire castle. Several other staff members started worryingly at the uh, at the two of them, Cameron waving them off, reassuring every time. They halted outside the castle gate for a break, only for Cameron to slam his palm into his forehead. What? What is it? Joe questioned him and he replied, I completely forgot. Lord Brick took the whole battalion with him at a conference with Lady Heather. Joe started blank stared blankly at him for a few seconds before slamming herself in the face as well. Ugh, no duh, God, all this crap distracted me from that stupid Joe. She started stuttering to herself. The only time you are left alone, you start breaking shit and making people go deaf from screaming. What the hell, Joe? This is why Brick doesn't like leaving you alone. You're a liability, Joe, and you know it. She went on and on, slamming, slapping her face repeatedly until Cameron feebly clenched her arm and stopped her. What are you doing? You'll have, you'll give yourself a concussion. It doesn't matter. I fucked up, Joe admitted, her face growing redder from her assault, and he snapped. Are you kidding me? Cameron retaliated, slapping her clean off on her on her left cheek. Generally surprising, Joe. You're a powerful ruler of a successful country, Joe. You've been in service for a long time, and I know you despise failure, but this is ridiculous. You're better than this. You need to calm down, collect yourself, and think of a way to fix the damage Lord Lightning has caused. Joe stood in front of him, rubbing her face as she as she sighed, sinking into her feet and leaning her back against the castle wall. As usual, you're right, nerling. God, she muttered, distressed, wiping her eyes before they could betray her by crying. Cameron sat down next to her, hugging his knees with one arm while placing the other on her shoulder. She held her face in her hands, groaning in irritation. They aren't going to be back for another week, she huffed. What am I supposed to do until Brick returns with those idiots? Maybe we could work on a new training regiment so when they come back, Cameron suggested, and Joe eyed him skeptically. skeptically. You're up for it? He nodded. If it will improve our country, I'm willing to help you. Making her mouth curve into a cocky grin. Well, why don't I go, Four Eyes? You officially won points with me. She sprung up to her feet, awkwardly bending a hand down to help him up. Well, what are we sitting around for? We got work to do. Move it or lose it, scrawny. Queen Joe dashed to the off at a swift spring back to the barkens. The wind blowing her crown off of her head. Cameron bent down, clenching the golden crown in his hands. Lady Joe, wait up. He took his sleeve and wiped the dirt off of the shiny exterior, the sunlight glint glinting off of it and into his eyes. 
shocked, he shook his head furiously, his glasses falling off into the dirt. He fell on the ground, violent, blindly navigating his hands across the ground. Suddenly, a grayish figure stood in front of him, holding his glasses in front of his face. Jeez, nerdling. If you wanted me to slow down, you should have spoken up, Joe said, smirking pridefully down at him while Cameron slipped his glasses back on. He gave her a smile in return, handing her the crown back. You dropped this when you dashed off. You don't really seem to care what happens to it. Joe grasped the crown, lazily throwing it back onto her head, it falling on the side almost immediately. That's because I really don't. I don't need a dumb crown to prove I'm in charge around here. They all know I'm the boss. She bragged confidently, making Cameron chuckle awkwardly. You're right about that for sure. That's the spirit. Now come on, Joe ordered, pulling to his feet and starting to jog at a moderate pace. Cameron managed to just follow close behind. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, that was chapter good. one. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting and different story, which I like. Yeah, I do like the the lore. Yeah. <laughs> Chapter 2, An Admirable Alliance Brick, Brick takes an emergency pit stop at Queen Zoe's castle, helping her deal with Mike's circumstances and Lightning's proposal. The, the clattering of horses filled the air as Prince Brick rode ahead of his shoulders towards the castle gates. He signaled to a guard at the tower, the man scrabbling down to meet him. Lord MacArthur, we, Lord MacArthur, we weren't informed you were you, you were coming. A pleasure, as usual. The guard the guard greeted him as he stood before the entire West Ar Western army. Brick descended from his horses, gripping the reins as he acknowledged the guard. I apologize, good sir. Our 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 visit was decided at the very last minute. However, I came for an emergency meeting with Lord with Lord of the, of the Manor. The the man shook nervously, nodding as he opened the gates. Of course, come in. All, 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 all right, men. Take temporary camp a few a few miles east of the castle. Hinton, you're in charge. You're in charge for the next few days. For, for next few for the next few days, while I discuss things with the with the Lord. Dismissed. A collective pile of voices responded. Yes, Lord Brick, sir. At, and, and proceeded to ride off. While 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 while, 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 while chosen while a chosen few. Few fo follow their lord into the castle walls. The common the common folk inside the castle stared it stared in awe at the horses. Children calling out excitedly, catching Brick's attention and allowing him to return a few a, a few smiles and waves. He he and his men tied up their horses in front of the main building and the gate and the gate guard rushing over to him. Lady Zoe is relaxing in the main hall in the main hall, sir. He said and Brick and Brick nodded. Thank you. The men entered the giant hall, the shiny red walls glittering and the, su and the sudden light emer emerging from the entrance as they walked in. Hey Brick, nice to see you, Zoe greeted, a sweet grin plastered on her face. Brick smiled back. Likewise, Lady Zoe, he, he, he bowed curtly as, he approached, uh, as she approached him, wrapping him in a quick hug. Zoe led the, Zoe led the, the, Zoe led the, the, what, the western lord to her ca castle's library. Where she could set out some drinks, and, and the two sat at the desk near a window. Good thing you, good, good, good thing, good thing you sent for me. I, I just left Lady Heather's re re residence a day ago. Brick said, taking a sip of tea, and Zoe sniffed. Well, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't a problem. I'm so stressed out now. It's not even funny. She complained, wiping her baggy eyes gently before spilling out the details. Wait, so you're telling me that that lightning kidnapped Mike? And, and and now he has him hostage, hostage where he, where he isn't being released until until you surrender the entire kingdom to him. Brick Brick asked squarely, so he's sighing in despair. It's been almost a month. I I was I was sure he was dead. I was sure he was dead, but but then just yesterday I re I, I I get I get this ransom note. She pulled a slip of paper from her pocket and slid it over him. Dear Puller Curl, Brick began to read. Eyeing her inquiring odd nickname as she just shrugged. I found your freaky boyfriend in the forest a while ago and didn't know what to do with him. 
So, so I've kept him here in, in my dungeon until, until, until I thought of something. Smart, huh? Anyway, I decided to give him back to you, but only if you give me your whole kingdom. I, I'm, per I'm pretty sure you'll give it up, am I right? Sh-sh-sh- sh score Lord, Light Lord, Lord Lightning of the South. He thinks I've already given up, Zoe yelled, clearly annoyed. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not that weak, right? Br Brick, sh Brick shook his head. Of course not. O out of the Northern Trio, you're easily the most reasonable and intelligent of them. Zoe smiled sadly at the compliment, shaking her head in dismay. She rested her chin on her on her hand and sighed. What can I do? I can't just I can't just give give him the kingdom. I mean, I can. But I'm not going to. Br Brick frowned, deep in thought about what, uh, deep in thought about what he discussed with Lady Heather. I'm telling you, Lightning is trying to, Lightning is trying to screw us all over. Heather, Heather screeched, pounding her hands on the table, launching a few cumps to the air. Alejandro grabbed her shoulders, sh shoulders, comforting her, comforting her while 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 while, re while rephrasing, re rephrasing. That man was tort. That that man has tortured his citizens and capturing inno innocent innocent villages ju ju just for feeding his ego. Of course, we do the same, but 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 we're much more civil about it. He Heather stared Heather stared guiltily at her partner, then then glared at Brick, bur burning into his burning into his skull with her gaze. Your 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 girl your, your girl Joe was totally right about him. He is a threat, and and we. And we need him taken down now. N n now, her 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 voice was shaking with fury, and, and and she and she sprang from her and she sprang from her seat, only for her husband to sit to sit her back down. Br Brick shook it. Brick shook. Brick shook his hands anxiously. Now, now, ma'am, I can assure you that something can that that something can and will be done. Of course, I have to speak to Joe about this about this before anything involving a treaty. Treaty or war, or war declaration is, is initiated. Alejandro nodded. Alejandro nodded calmly, hold, holding Heather, holding Heather to her chair. Not a problem, sir. You're 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 on, you're on our side with, with with this, correct? Brick 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 saluted. That's correct. We just need to formulate a, a plan. So so Zoe, you don't have to worry. I I I I already am in the process of planning a rebellion against Lord Lightning. Her lies, her lies lit up excitedly. Really? Who, who else did you manage to convince? Brick smirked proudly. The Eastern Lords, as well as the, as well as the Northeastern and Northwestern. So, 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 so Zoe, Zoe stared, Zoe stared incredi incredulous, incredulously. Yeah, that's, that's hard to read. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> yeah, 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 in, 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 incredulous, incredulously. Yeah, mm. at him. <laughs> you, 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 you convinced Heather and Alejandro, as well as Duncan and Cordy and Scott and Don. And Don, he, he slow, he slowly nodded, folding his arms confidently. La Lady, he Lady Heather is absolutely peeved with him. Scott, Scott, Scott was recently betrayed by him, and Cordy practically lost her whole lumber trade to him. It wasn't too hard to find allies against him. Zoe leaned over the desk, hugging her comrade tightly. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay you. Brick, Brick, Brick smiled humbly. Not a problem. We share a common enemy, all of us. Besides, the mere look of satisfaction on my on, on my lady's face when we take when, when we take him out will be more than enough for me. She sank back into her chair in relief. Brick pulling out a sheet from his backpack. He informed her. It, it's the alliance paper. It's the alliance. Pa it's the alliance paper. Just sign your name under the last one, all right? Zoe nodded, gra gra grabbing a pin off the desk and, and neatly scribbling her name. She she stared in disbelief at at, at the page for a few seconds. Wow, Scott a Scott actually has decent penmanship. <laughs> Brick Brick, mu Brick muffled a laugh with his hand. I know, shocked me as well. She 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 ha she she handed it back to him. Brick Brick Brick, Brick shoving it back into his bag. Brick, Brick, would, would would you like to stay for dinner? It only feels right to celebrate this, Zoe asked. He beamed down at her as he signaled the guards to come inside. I'd be honored, Queen Zoe. I can't wait for this coup thing to happen. <laughs> Are they gonna murder yeah. lightning? <laughs> Me too. <laughs>
Wait, is that Scott Chapter 3? What, did he change his appearance? He doesn't look like a dirtbag. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. He actually took a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rick and Zoe find Scott in shambles at Zoe's front door, and his reasons drive the Lores to take action. Alright. I guess he didn't take a shower then. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Figures. <laughs> a day had passed. The northern and western lords dis discussed possible solutions to the current crisis. The sun started to set on the second night. Glimpses of the falling, of the falling light seeping of into the office window. Everything was going as peacefully as it could, considering the circumstances. The two monarchs making steadily progress. Unfortunately, it was interrupted by the door crashing to the ground. Lady Zoe, we have a problem at the gate! The guard screamed, causing Zoe to spring from her seat. She looked at Brick. Get your guards and come with me! Brick nodded, raise yeah, rising from his seat and summoning his men. The group followed the guard to the gate, where a crowd of townsfolk gathered in the front in front of this one man. His clothes were tattered and messy, and his face was covered in dirt and his ginger hair flying all over the place. The guards surrounded him, his hands already braced behind his back, yet he didn't struggle. Please, you have to believe me. I need help now. His voice was weak. The crowd remained strong. He tried again. Seriously, I mean no harm. Let me talk to Lady Zoe. Zoe and Brick cut through the the uh, the people. A look of dis of relief appeared on his face. Zoe, thank God you're here. Brick too. Man, am I so man? I got lucky. He greeted his fellow lords. Zoe's face fell at the sight of him. Lord Scott, you look awful. What happened? She knelt down, following her fellow northern lord to his feet. Come inside, we'll talk there. Brick released his shackles from released the shackles from Scott's wrists, and they walked into the medical area of the castle. We weren't expecting it. He came from nowhere, Scott explained. A nurse bandaged his arm as he spoke to the others. So he gasped, placing a hand on his knee. That's horrible. And that isn't even the worst part. While his army took a bunch of my people captive, Lightning himself caught up to us and took Dawn. He has Dawn. He started tearing up. I tried to get her back, got a couple of hits in. I told her to run away, but she decided to pull his arm away from me. She told me the same thing, insisting I go, and I did. I heard screaming and a thud, and I kept running and running. That is until I swear I saw General MacArthur, MacArthur's army camping near here. They caught me spying, not really recognizing me with this song, and they brought me to the gate. Brick shook his head in disbelief. How did he manage to get past my army? I'm sh sure we would have spotted his balloton if we were, if they were going to your land. Scott sighed. Even then, I'm not sure if could have helped. The nurse finished the bandages, the heartbroken ginger giving her a weak smile. Thanks all. Zoe groaned silently, her body trembling in fury. He has Mike too, she mumbled. And Scott gave her a sympathetic look. I guess we're in the same boat. I'm sorry. She glanced at him, shaking her hands anxiously. No, no, you don't need to apologize. Their faces sunk. Brick rolled his shoulders in, dis in discomfort. Zoe signed the papers, Brick said after a while, and Scott's face lit up. Well, since he's got her husband, I guess I understand why you would. Still, thanks for that, Red, he responded, a bit of enthusiasm push pushing itself in into back in his voice, a small grin curving into Zoe's lips. Brick suddenly stopped. His eyes filled with concern. He rushed over to the window, looking towards the west. Brick, is something wrong? Zoe asked, placing a hand on his shoulder. His tone went grim as he questioned Scott. Which direction was Lightning going in? Scott raised an eyebrow and answered, He was heading west. Why do you... Oh. His eyes grew wide, and he asked in return, Are, there... Are they here? 
Rick kept his gaze towards the window, his hands clutch clutching into fists. If they're heading west from your land, and they haven't arrived around here for a past day, though, he snapped his fingers, turning on his heel and bursting through the door. Zoe and Scott ran after him. Rick, wait up! So he called down the hallway as he sprinted towards the castle's front. He grabbed the reins of his horse, preparing to, to mount when his soldiers approached him. Lord Brick, what are you doing? He swung his leg over the horse's back, posturing himself up as Zoe, as Scott and Zoe arrived at the front. Brick, what's wrong? Scott asked again, and Brick stared worryingly at the two of them. If they haven't come around here, that means they're going to the Northwest Kingdom. His response was blunt. He turned his attention to his soldiers. Gather up the rest of our troops. Head towards the northwest region of the forest. That's an order. Hurry. The soldiers saluted, running off to notify the rest of the Balaton. Brick adjusted his reins and turned to Zoe. Have your men follow mine. We need to leave immediately if we are to warn Lady Courtney and Lord Duncan in time. Zoe nodded and signaled her guards to prepare for battle. Scott waved at him. What about me? Brick glanced down at him and lent him, lent him a hand, pulling him onto the back of the horse. Take this, he said, handing him a bow and a quiver, and quiver from his bag. Scott lunged the quiver over his shoulder with a slight wince and grabbed the bow with his hand. Zoe arrived in the in the courtyard on horseback, her sword strapped onto her back and and donned her leather armor. She nodded at them, riding off ahead with her men ahead of them. Hold on. Whatever you do, and, and keep an eye out. Shoot only if necessary, Brick told Scott, who nodded obediently, and he whipped his reins. The horse galloped out of the castle. The two lords on its back silently prayed that they, would ha they wouldn't have left too late. The remaining guards sealed the gate, staying behind to protect the citizens. The rest of the Western Corps joined their lords outside the gate, and they all galloped towards the, the Northwest. They knew little about what was awaiting them, but at that moment, no one really cared. Arriving in time was all that mattered. Damn, I guess we get to see Gen 1 people now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't get me wrong. I do like the Gen Two cast, but it's good to see the the, the first ones. <laughs> yeah. Cameron's travels. Joe sends Cameron to Courtney with a letter. He meets Duncan in the woods. Cameron adjusted his glasses, scanning the map Joe had given him. Just go north. Follow the path and go north. He kept repeating. He kept repeating the instructions in his head, glaring at his surroundings. He, he was stuck, alone in the woods with nothing but a dagger he barely knew how to use, and a letter to Queen Courtney. Oh, come on, he groaned, staring down at his feet as he as he trudged along the cracked stone path. Okay, Strength Bean, I have no idea if Drama Queen knows anything about about uh, about about what Brick Brick went went to do, but either way, I need you to I need you to deliver this to her. Joe handed Joe handed told Joe Joe, hand, Joe handled him a wrinkled envelope. Seal, sealed with sealed with the the western emblem. Karen raised an eyebrow curiously. What what's this even for, Lady Cho? And, and and why do I have to deliver it? She smirked, punching him lightly on the shoulder. First off, I I, I just figured I should I should tell someone else what uh, uh, about what Muscle Brain Brain is doing, and and and, and, I, and, and I figure she's the closest. Second, I second I also guess that you need something to do. Could. I, I, I could use I could use some extra uh, exercise and, and, and that that you could be that you could be more than willing to go to to, to go to goth ball staying staying there right now. C Cameron shook his head awkwardly. She is. Joe Joe nodded, pat pat patting him on the head. I know you like that chick. Not sure, not sure how, but 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 that but but that you do. Go 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 get go go get him go. Go get him, <laughs> Bert Berniac. She she shoved him lightly towards the door, and and he, and he almost tripped over his feet while walking out. Just keep going north. Stay on stay on the stone path. Don't trip over don't trip over any pebbles. 
he 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 glowered. He, his irritation obvious obvious by the look in his eyes. Suddenly, he stopped anxiously at the sound of a branch breaking. Who, who's there? He commanded, trying to look intimidating while brushing his fingers over the da dagger. Oh, you're that you're that nerdkin from the Western, right? A voice asked. Cameron gulped nervously, but nodded. Y yeah A hooded figure popped out from the bushes, making him panic and fall backward into the dirt. The figure laughed- the figure laughed ma 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 maniacally, <laughs> dropping his hood, revealing himself. Much to the scrawny service relief. Lord Duncan, you scared me! Kit Cameron yelled defensively while Duncan helped him back- Back to his feet, he cackled. Yeah, I do that. What? Well, what are you? What are you doing around here and and by yourself too? The shorter boy, the shorter boy, wiped wiped the dirt off off his cloak, and and, and then he showed showed Duncan the envelope. My 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 lady Joe my my lady Joe gave me this and sent and sent sent it to give it to Lady Lady Courtney. I was heading over there, but you're lost. Duncan answered for him, shaking his head disappointingly. Well, well, I'm not too surprised. What, 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 what's the, what, what, want me to bring you over? Cameron nodded in defeat, ca causing the Northwestern Lord to grab it, to grab his wrist, gil gilding him through the forest and to his kingdom. He waved the cat. He waved to the castle guard. Hey, Doris, open the gate. He, 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 he knew who his guard what. He, he, he knew who his guard war, what was since he was in a similar situation to him. All right, all right. Give me a second. Gosh. The metal gate slowly creaked open, allowing Duncan and his get and his guests to waltz on in. Cameron looked Cameron looked on in awe as he dragged toward toward the main hall of his room, since it since it has been a while since he visited this village. The town the town the, the, the town the town folks stared at him. Most of the mo most of them being looks of pity, and he didn't mind. After all, being in Joe's being in Joe's service has gotten him adjusted to being. To being someone's ragdoll, L Lord Duncan, re Lord Duncan, released, Lord Duncan released his grip on on, on on Cameron's wrist as they as they approached the entrance to the main hall. The the the, the, the purple and gr the purple and green melted walls start st started started making him feel sick. As as he waited beside the delinquent ruler at the door. Duncan knocked loudly. Hey princess, hey princess, pasty. <laughs> Am I good to come in? After a few seconds, a shrill, forceful voice called back. What do you want, Duncan? Cam Cam Cameron shuddered. Cam Cameron shuddered at the sound of it. But Duncan gave him a calm look before answering, answering her. Jo Joe sent one of her nerds with a letter. They waited. They waited. No reply. Cameron could hear footsteps approaching the door. Excited footsteps. He could feel the vibrations through his boots, and like that, the door swung open. Duncan slid over to his throne next to Courtney, who was sporting a thin purple dress with a silver tiara. Oh my gosh, just like the one in action. <laughs> yeah, it straight up is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cameron stood back at the door, wondering how the door opened if Courtney was still sitting until he felt a cold hand on his head. He glanced up at the woman whose lips curved into a grin once he re once he recognized her. Hey Gwen, Cameron greeted, er earning himself a pat on the head. Gwen smiled down at him. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Cam. How are you? All right. I mean, jo Joe's been a lot nicer to me recently. That's always good news. Ahem. The two friends eyed Corny anxiously. Cameron instinctively bowing. Cordy motioned for him to rise, addressing him. So Duncan, so so Duncan tells me you have a message. So Duncan tells me you have a message. Cameron nodded, slipping the envelope from, slipping the envelope out from his pocket and and handing it to her. She took her fingernail and and ripped the, and ripped the note open, skimming it before groaning. Is there something wrong, Miss? Is, is there something wrong, Miss? Cameron asked as as Courtney handed a note to Duncan for him to read. She sighed. It seems that Lady Cho hasn't been hasn't been completely informed on her on her man's work. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen exchanged a confused look confused look with Cameron before asking, "Uh, what work?" Duncan snickered. 
informing informing them about Brick's earlier visit. He came by a week ago, asking us about what Lightning's been up to, and and, and if we were and if we were willing to help him with and w if if we were willing to help him with an alliance. Cameron interrupted. I ex excuse me, but what alliance? Corny grabbed a stack of papers from from behind her chair, picking up one from the bottom and showing it to the boy. He said he w he said he was going to talk to Heather and Scott about joining joining together against Lightning against Lightning to take him down. I definitely sighed. That b that bastard took a huge amount of my trace profit and spent and spent it all away without my permission. She was fuming. Gwen Gwen, Gwen rushing Gwen rushing to, to sit her down before she exploded. Cameron Gwen slight. Can't Cameron grinned slightly. Well, well, well. That's good news. Jo jo Joe could be ecstatic to hear that. They begin discussing a few trivial things. An entire an entire hour passes before they were interrupted by a, by, by an atrocious set of loud bangs. Uh, of of loud bangs came came from the door. Your Majesties, Lord Brick and Lady Zoe request to see you immediately. The situation is dire. Cordy and Duncan nodded to see each other, then raced out the door, followed by a puzzled Quinn and Cam it, it, followed by a puzzled Quinn and Cameron right at right at their heels. What what is going on out there? Oh boy. <laughs> it looks like things are finally picking up. Yep. Prepare for war, chapter five. Oh boy. <laughs> the current group is readying themselves for an upcoming battle at Northwest and they split up respectively. What the hell is going on here? Courtney screamed, demanding answers. While the others caught up to her outside, she halted, a shocked expression forged on her face. Oh my god, Scott! She screeched, rushing over to Brick's horse, struggling to help him down. Duncan scoffed under his breath, earning him a nudge to the gut from Gwen. Zoe, what happened? Gwen asked as she tied the reins of her of her horse to the post. Cameron went to stand next to them, wondering the same thing. Zoe responded grimly. Mike is a prisoner, and Lightning's kidnapped Dawn after ransacking the northeast and injuring Scott. Cameron shook his head in disbelief. Seriously? Gwen said, baffled. Wow, is Everyone around here in some kind of trouble? Cameron glanced at her sadly. Yeah, Joe and I think that he that he tampered with our army. She's pretty mad about it. At the mention of Joe, Brick turned to his comrade, holding him by the shoulder. Joe? Cameron, is she okay? He questioned. His tone remained firm, but yet he, his worry was obvious. He smiled at him nervously, nodding swiftly while reassuring him. She's okay, Brick. A inhuman wall of fire currently locking herself away, so she doesn't rage kill anyone. But okay. Brick exhaled, his face softening at the news. Good. He called for the troops' attention. Provide backup for the soldiers situated here. Brace yourself for battle. He commanded. His command echoed across the inner village, citizens running for their safe homes. While the troops stationed themselves around the gate, Courtney grabbed Brick by the shoulder to demanding more information. That's nice and all, but why exactly is this happening? Zoe ripped Courtney away from her friend, holding her arms to her side and trying to calm her down. Lightning is coming here right now and his whole army with him. We need you guys to help us fend them off. Are you kidding me? Duncan, get with the other soldiers. Tell them to... They have Captain Egotistical's army no mercy, she yelled. Duncan nodded quickly before sprinting off. All right then, Brick began. Cameron, you take Scott back to Raccoonium for sanctuary. Lady Zoe, you, Courtney, and Gwen man the healing station to help the inner, the inner guards protect the townsfolk. Only escort to mur es resort to murder if necessary. I'll join Lord Duncan at the gate, understand? The others agreed, splitting up according to the Lord's command. Be safe, Cameron. You too, Scott. Keep an eye out for anyone behind you, Gwen warned the smaller boy, receiving a tiny smile from him. He hoisted himself on the horse Brick had given him, taking hold of the reins and gripping them tightly. I will. You take care as well, Lady Gwen. 
Cameron bid her, trying to adjust himself, releasing his grip before almost slipping off. Gwen took hold of the reins with one hand, helping Cameron regain his balance with another. She urged on, serious to camp, finding that it's some s has some sort of pointless grudge with on you still, so I'm sure he has some kind of special reward for your capture. He gulped fear fearful, stuttering at, th stuttering at the thought. The fair-skinned maiden stretched up and pecked his cheek, much to his bewilderment. Just be careful, she said, and he adjusted and reassured her with a nod. Scott rolled his eyes. Shouldn't we be escaping now? Cameron snapped out of his minor trance, snatched the reins back from Gwen and snapped them. The horse started to race away from the castle, Gwen rushing to the cellar nearby, slamming the lid behind her. Scott, are you alright? Cameron called to his passenger for after a while, his face getting slammed repeatedly by gusts of wind as they rode back to the west. He had gained he had sensed that Scott was tensed up because of his posture straightened up suddenly. He stuttered a grim a grim message. I think we're being followed. Soon enough, a small crowd of horses popped up behind him, carrying soldiers with spears and arrows preparing for assault. Uh what now, smart guy? Scott asked anxiously. Before Cameron cut a corner into the forest, he instructed him hastily. You have a bow, don't you? Use it. I'll try to lose them. <laughs> Scott acknowledged his order, grinding an arrow against the string of the bow and firing. A troop fell off of his horse, and an arrow jammed into his left shoulder. He shot another, this one striking another shoulder's horse right in its right eye, causing it to crash into a tree. They made a swift turn around another corner, the western castle on their sights. How many are left? Cameron inquired. Scott released the final arrow, aiming directly at the forehead, only to aim in their throat. He exhaled, then answered Cameron with a cocky grin. Zero. Cameron sighed in relief, guiding the horse up to the gate, tugged at the reins, stopping it dead in his tracks, and called to the guard. Hey, it's Cameron. You have to let me in now. I have urgent news. Before he knew it, the gate rose from the ground, and the two of them rode towards the castle. The iron bars slammed back down, the boys relaxing their bodies a little, knowing they're safe. For now. Back of the northwestern kingdom, the ladies resided underneath the castle. The bunker was slightly was a slightly tight space, with all the people inside resting on, on bunkers. Zoe and Gwen were preparing several med kits. Courtney pacing around and reassuring a few citizens of their safety. At one point, the, the northern western queen felt a tug on her dress. She glanced down to see a little boy gripping the fabric, his eyes fighting back worried tears. Courtney kneeled down at his level. What would you like, Ellie? She asked the child in a soft voice. He gingerly smashed his fingers together, fumbling his words. Miss Courtney, is Sir Duncan going to be okay? She smiled, placing a gentle hand on his shoulder. Of course he will, dear. He gave a little grin. Good, I know he would. Courtney giggled as Ellie ran back into his mother's arms. As soon as he left, her face felt grim. She eyed the earthy ceiling, the sounds of war sinking into the ground. Her mind raced and her heart thumped out of her chest as the banging of hooves and the clashing of swords rang through their ears. He has to be okay. Damn. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> this is getting intense. Yeah. <laughs> Chapter 6, Prison Pals. My, my, Mike is trapped in a cell. Re 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 reminiscing his latest battle and, and and is later and is later joined by Don, who shares her story with him. Drops of water plop down from the ceiling. Thin rays of light uh, of light of light see seeping into the damp prison area. Mike shook his head blankly, blinking awkwardly at the wall in front of him. His skin was bruised. More 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 sent the more sent so than before he was captured. A, a few wounds here and there. That that. 
that were swelling up fast. What, what, what last he last he remembered, he was returning from one, he was returning from one of his feeder villages with with a, with the small with, with a small b b battalion, but but battalion of, of of battalion of of soldiers. He. He he went he went over he went over there to 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 check up on things when when their situ when their situation went f went from went from bad to to suck it to suck suck ta sucktacular okay sucktacular a a shoulder a shoulder rode ro 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 up to Mike's side sh shuddering anxiously uh captain do do, do you smell sm do you smell smoke Soon enough, soon, soon enough after he said that, a, fl a flaming arrow went whiffed over Mike's hair, set, 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 setting it ablaze. He, 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 start, he started to panic, slamming his head frantically to put, to, to put it out as he ordered, move, 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 move out fast. The, 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 the troops took, the troops took heed. Right, 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 riding through, riding through the for the forest and, and narrowly, do and, and narrowly dodging arrow after arrow. Eventually, Mike got struck in the left shoulder. He he grimaced. The the flaming hot arrow luck luckily caught, luckily cauterizing, luckily cauterizing the wound, the wound before be before 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 it bled through his shirt. Al although 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 his shirt then caught fire. Oh come on! He yelled quickly, 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 using his fr his free hand to rip the sleeve off, and, and and toss it to a nearby tree. Normally, he, normally he would have hesitated, th 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 thinking th thinking it would bring thinking it would bring Vito out, but 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 he didn't have to worry about that anymore. He looked around him, shocked to find the rest of his army had split up, abandoning him. He shook his head, tug tugging the reins. It Tucker the reason and, and, and hastily halting the, hor the, the horse's movements. As he scouted the area, Mike tried to remain hidden as he hid, as he hid. So unfortunately, it did not go well. There, 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 there's the Lord. There's the Lord. Gr there, there's the Lord. Gra 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 grab him in. A, 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 a voice, a voice called as the bushes. A, a voice called from the bushes. And, and, and so, and several enemy troops bur bur burst from the trees. Mike jumped quite literally as he descended from his horse and, spr and sprinted away. He he almost escaped the assault. Only before one guard, only before one one guard, one guard to tackle him to the ground, knocking his head against the dirt. As he fought to remain, as he fought to remain conscious and struggled to free himself, his his, his eyes scanned the area. Trees, trees. All he saw. All he saw were more and more trees. Got you, Lord Lightning. Lord, got you. Lord Lightning will be. Lord Lightning will be pleased. His opponent cackled gleefully, sm smash, sm smashing, smashing Mike's Mike, Mike's face back down and and be and and, and and beating his body to a pulp. His his vision faded and then fell then fell to nothing but black. He sighed, grabbing his shoulder and, and leaning his head ag against against the jagged rock wall. Little, 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 little spikes poked his head, but 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 he didn't but he didn't but he didn't really take it as much. His 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 mind his mind was set was set on one thing and one thing alone, the safety of Zoe. It was all that he could think about. With his personality gone, he couldn't distract himself from his worries. At least not at least not 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 until not until he heard heavy foot heavy footsteps approaching him. Let go of me, traitors! A tiny voice ordered. And, and Mike recognized it immediately. A guard was accompanying the prisoner, holding her by the arm and treating her and, and, and dragging her across the ground. Shut, 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 shut it, shut it, witch. Shut, 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 shut it, with, witch. Just get into the cell, the soldier said, tossing her into the cell with him. And, and, and stop with that traitor bullcrap. We all know you're the real traitor. He, he he locked the gate behind him and proceeded to walk off. The the, the the woman grasped the bars, screeching furiously back at him. You monster, you know nothing. Your lord is pathetic. You'll see. She eventually calmed down, still fuming when Mike acknowledged her presence and spoke to her. 
Don? Is that you? He asked, the pale lady spinning around at the mention of her name, ra ra wrapping her arms around, around, her, around her comrade. Mike, thank goodness, I'm not alone. I, I had a feeling I'd see someone, she squeaked, relaxing her body as she noticed his injuries. Oh my gosh, you look awful. Let me l l l l let me guess. My my Mike nodded. Mike nodded before she finished, and and and, and Don's face sank. How did you get? How, how did you get here? Mike questioned. What what watching Don watching Don Don rubber cheek in frustration. She exhales sharply, responding bluntly. Light 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 light, light lightning attack Don. Light lightning attack Scott and. And, and, and me for no reason. And, and and he caught me while I was helping Scott Scott escape. He he managed to run off, and lightning knocked me out. And now I'm here, and now I'm here. Her 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 entire bar her entire body her entire body started shaking as 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 as, 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 he, as he could tell she was worried about Scott. My 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 Mike patted her on the back. I know how you feel. I was coming back. I know how you feel. I was coming back from a mission when my men and I were, 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 were ransacked, were ransacked, and 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 his troops captured me. I have no, I have no idea how Zoe, how how Zoe is if she's okay, or alive, or he stopped. A, a nervous lump caught in his throat. In his throat, he tried to speak, but 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 could but couldn't bring himself to. Don Don hugged him again, quite quite quietly staining his clothes with tears as he. As he sat back in the darkness, hope, hoping for their partner's safety. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, this is pretty good so far. It, it, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I can't I really wait like to read so more. Yeah, I can't wait to read more of yeah. it at, like, a, at a later date, but I feel like that's a good place, like a nice little cliffhanger. You don't know what's gonna happen. Someone could die yeah. next chapter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, thank you for recommending this book. Mm hmm And whatnot. This, this was a pretty good read, and whatnot. It's, it it's was, nice yeah. It's nice imagining, like, an AU for, like, characters sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Hopefully we get to see other characters, because there's so many in the Total Drama universe. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad we got just the, the power couple so far, and then, I guess, Scott yeah. and Dawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess they count as a couple, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll have this book down below in the description if you guys would like to read this as well. And whatnot, if you just want to, like, speed run through that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, now it's time for everyone's favorite segments, where we uh, spin the wheel to figure out how what we're going to be reading next time. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. All right, well, we have several options for things, so I guess we shall spin to figure out what we're going to be doing next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think we've ever read that one before. Yeah, we have it! Alright, a new ship. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, well, I can't wait to find a book for I feel like I found, I found a book. For that, I think. Oh yeah. Oh, you did. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in the it's in the list, probably at the bottom. But I feel like I found one at some yeah. point. Oh okay. Yeah. So hopefully we don't have to do that much digging. Hopefully it's good, and I didn't like put like a very mature book in the list. <laughs> I got a proofread before I put it up here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was uh, what was it called? Kings and Queens. Total drama. Kings and Queens. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, very much uh, like a medieval times AU of total drama characters. <laughs> yeah. And whatnot. But uh, thank you for joining me on this one mm -hmm. once again, Kenzie. I appreciate it. Yep. I'll have Kenzie's little ad thing at, in the description if you want to go check out their channel and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> along with uh, my socials are down there, along with some shit on the screen of a uh, book similar to this, and also the entire playlist of Wattpad Book Club, if you're interested. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!